Certain applications that run on Kubernetes require persistent volumes that retain their state and data and continue to exist even when the pod is deleted or reconfigured. vSphere integrates with Kubernetes and provides its storage resources so that Kubernetes persistent volumes are backed with virtual disks on data stores. The workflow for creating and managing persistent volumes in vSphere with Kubernetes includes several tasks that are performed in turn by two personas, a vSphere administrator and a DevOps engineer. First, a vSphere administrator uses the vSphere client to provide storage resources to Kubernetes. The vSphere administrator creates a storage policy that describes specific storage characteristics available in vSphere. Note the name of the storage policy. In this example, the name is gold. The administrator then assigns this storage policy to a namespace. To assign the storage policy to the namespace, from the Home menu, select Workload Management and select the target namespace. Click the Summary tab. On the Storage panel, click Edit Storage and select the Storage Policy, which is gold in our example. If required, set the limits of the Storage Policy on the Capacity and Usage panel. After the vSphere Administrator assigns the policy to the namespace, the matching storage class appears in the Kubernetes environment. The DevOps engineer can verify that the storage class is available. To do this, the DevOps engineers can run the kubectl get storage class command. In this example, we see that the storage class named gold appears in the output. The DevOps engineer can now use this storage class in persistent volume claims and pod deployments. After the DevOps engineer deploys a persistent volume claim that references the storage class, vSphere with Kubernetes creates a persistent volume object and a matching persistent virtual disk. The vSphere administrator can monitor the persistent volume, its backing the virtual disk, and its storage compliance in the vSphere client. To do this, navigate to the namespace that has the persistent volume. Click the Storage tab and click Persistent Volume Claims. You can see all persistent volume claim objects and corresponding volumes available in the namespace. To view the details of a selected persistent volume claim, click its name. The container volume page opens. On the container volumes page, you can check the volume's health, status, and storage policy compliance. Click the details icon and switch between the basics and Kubernetes objects tab to view additional information for the Kubernetes persistent volume. In this example, you can see that the persistent volume uses the gold storage policy and that its status is compliant. For more details, see the vSphere with Kubernetes documentation on docs.vmware.com.